What's up guys? We are not in the studio for Medica Monday today. There's a lot of gunfire going on. We're at the range. We're here with Damage Control Customs. Uh, this is Levi. We actually just met. Um, he's a cool dude, so why don't you tell him about yourself. Hey, so I'm Levi, uh, former military. Today we're just going to do some, you know, basic fire maneuver and wreck contact and uh, some medical on yeah. top of that. So. And, it, and it's this is all just um, based on accessing your medical gear that you have handy and, and being able to perform under pressure. And you, you just won't be able to do that unless you train them like, like we're doing today. So, um, so we're going to get to it. We're going to explain to you what he's doing as he's doing it. And then we'll kind of show you what it looks like in real time. Yep. So first steps first, he's concealed carrying like a good citizen he is. He's got his <laughs> medical gear on like, like he should. As If you're concealed carrying, you should have medical on you. We harp on this a lot. Um, so first things first, uh, there's a threat, so let's go. All right. So first thing, I'm going to go for my draw stroke. Our threat's over there, that, that red target back there. So mm -hmm. go for the draw stroke as I'm moving to cover. I get some sort of cover. Okay, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to make myself as small of a target as possible, try and get this wheel well in between me and the target. Okay. So now I'm going to simulate my left arm being shot so now that I know my bad guy's down I'm gonna try and reholster the gun and then I'm gonna move up to my medical gear just rip this whole kit off deploy the tourniquet get it high and tight just below the socket my red tab Never sexy, but it's done for real. Crank this down as hard as I can. And you should turn and twist the windlass until you never feel a pulse. Okay, no pulse. So now I got my tourniquet on correctly. I'm still in the fight, so I need to top my gun off. So I'm going to drop my magazine, put it back in the holster, draw my backup magazine, throw in the gun, tap, rack, get back on target. My bad guy's still down. I'm going to do a 360 scan, which is easiest on your back like this because you can see everything here that's around you. Clear enough? Yeah, clear enough. And then, too, another another important note, you know, at this point, call 911. Somebody, yeah. you know, get get there. And, and um, if, if you've got bystanders, which obviously if you just got a, a gunfight downtown or some, some type of situation like that, odds are there's people around. Yell for somebody to call 911. Have 10 people call 911. Get everybody call 911. Um, and reassess that tourniquet. You know, you're up. Somebody's call 911 if you got it on your phone or whatever. Um Hey, I'm on the phone with 911. Are you okay? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, man. Focus on that tourniquet. Mm -hmm. Like, figure figure it out. Did was it placed properly? Do you have a backup tourniquet? Um, if you need it, um, go ahead and write your time down. If you got time, if you're just sitting there waiting on the ambulance, there's plenty of things that you can reassess. Yeah. Uh, Every everyone who carries medical should carry a uh, sharpie on them just to write the time that the tourniquet was applied. Uh, either on the little time slot or on their forehead. Yeah. Yeah. You can write it on their forehead, especially if the if it's. If, if you're not doing it for you, you're doing it on somebody else. Um, you you may not be around. Um, write it write it everywhere. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I think that's good. If if you've got a kit, if like I'm running a, um, you know, I carry a tourniquet on my holster. I carry a tourniquet back here. I carry a tourniquet on my plate carrier. I want tourniquets everywhere. Yep. <laughs> as many tourniquets as I can get. Um, put grab yourself a training tourniquet. You can go to frontlinemedicaldefense.com. You could use coupon code dire ten. That'll get you ten percent off. Um, go grab a training tourniquet and put one everywhere that you carry a tourniquet and run a similar yeah. drill to what you just did. Yeah. Your drill is really good because it's concealed carry, it's, it's normal stuff. Um, accidents happen at the range, you don't know who's around. Carry medical gear, get get trained on it, yeah, and um, absolutely. that's it. Short and sweet Medic Monday. Stop!